A very good morning here from the Alton Towers Resort, where we're back here for 2022 season. We've got Nana with us today. Oh yeah. Are you all right, Nana? Cold. Are you excited for today? You're cold. It's like nine degrees today. It's better oh, than last year. Cold. Well, it's, the temperature is going to warm up throughout the day. Mm. I think we've been treated with this nice weather that we've got here. So uh, yeah, we chose to do the intro, intro, intro out the front of the monorail station there with the Alton Towers logo there. And uh, yeah, we know there's been a lot of TLC going on around the park over the winter break. We just done a live stream coming into the park itself as well. So um, yeah, so we're hoping today we're, uh, sorry about this, the operations are going to be nice and fast. I mean, I don't blame them if it, the operations are going to be slow because it is the opening weekend. Uh, we're here on the Sunday, not the Saturday. Uh, there's a lot of other YouTubers and TikTokers going here today as well. So uh, yeah, let's hope we have a nice day. We'll see you when we get in the park, maybe. Yeah. So then we're just in the uh, monorail station here. It's completely quiet because we're here quite late of the day. This is the old park map from last year, which mixtape isn't there anymore. It's now called Spin Jam, the new uh, roll, roller roller disco. What the new uh, retro squad ride, which they've got. So uh, yeah, Spin Jam. It's all set up now in the park, just under Oblivion's break run. And uh, yeah, so we're excited to see that. And uh, maybe you'll see some maintenance going on to it as well. So um, yeah. I need to look at where I'm recording as well because it's quite bumpy today. So uh, yeah, I'm just about to head on to the monorail train itself. Got a jelly bean monorail over there. I'm gonna catch up with Nana up there. And uh, yeah. Plaza. We can hear the soundtracks down here now. They've got soundtracks on the main entrance plaza, I believe, unless they've turned the speakers up on Tower Street. But we're just showing you the monorail station being repainted purple, which is really nice to see. The TLC's already starting. I can already show you the TLC. And I believe the corkscrew has actually been repainted as well, another coat of purple as well. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to check our bags now. They're just, I mean, they're just going to check our bags now. And we'll see you on Tower Street. So then, we've just arrived at the top of Tower Street and already there's more TLC coming. They've repainted all the fences around here purple and of course, not just the fences, also the lampposts on Tower Street. They've painted the same Alton Towers purple colour. So it's really nice they're going with their like colour branding as well because that's like their main colour, isn't it? Purple. So it's nice how they've done that. And uh, over here, by the way, I forgot to mention, they've added a new actual like building onto the monorail station not the monorail station the main entrance plaza this part they've added this new bit of building here of course uh, i'm not too sure i think it's lockers in there oh no that's behind there i'm not too sure what's in there uh, but yeah that's interesting to see a lot of new tlc going on nana's just spotted this advertisement for the alton towers uh, these cups look at the the price of just one of them that's not very good is it that's horrible but it's nice to see they've got the speakers working again, which is nice. The blasting out music on Tower Street. <laughs> so uh, yeah, just a little look here then. They've got some new signage on the, um, the front of the Towers Trading Company building. They've got the runaway mine train at Towers Trading Company and so on. Nemesis Oblivion Galactica. They've added these bottom bits at the bottom, <laughs> which looks really nice. I'm really impressed. The TLC this year has, so, has just improved so much. So uh, yeah, here's some more look at the uh, new signage here. I mean, I don't think you need a uh, sign for there because it's right there, but <laughs> oh well. We're down here at the front lawns now and it's great to see how clear it is from all the events they had last year going on. They've still got all this lighting up here, which I'm really impressed to see. But yeah, it just looks so different now, everything's clear. They've got the main stage down there, which is interesting to see. But they haven't got the seating area out yet, which is interesting. So uh, yeah, 
It is just weird to see though how empty the front lawns are because of last year it was so busy on these front lawns. They used them for a lot of things, you know, fireworks, Oktoberfest, Scarefest. They had all the uh, um, they had all the stores down there with the bars, and you can still see. It. I think they've uh, put fake grass down, unless they've cut it, but they've just like left it. But uh, yeah, that's what I can see so far, and uh, yeah. So we're now down here at the entrance to see Beebe's land and look at the work that's gone into this. It's, they've replaced the entire sign and everything. It used to be, well, there's still the tr two trees, but they've added these like blocks there, like loads of toys and like a little house. And they've replaced the flooring down there as well, which is really nice to see. So the TLC project is going along really well now this year. And the Visa, they've also even got the Alton Towers bins now. They've actually got all, on all the most of the bins. They've all been painted either blue or pink and they've got the uh, Aunt Tower's logo on it which is really nice to see. So the nun has just bought a hot dog there as you can see. Are you enjoying your roll over hot dog? Now I believe the food around the park is changing this year. There's something happened to it. They're, I think they're like... I'm not, I don't know what's happening to it. There's, some, there's a new update on the food around the park. Yeah, I've seen something. So uh, yeah. So then we're just heading to Mutiny Bay now. And they've changed the soundtrack around here and not just that they've also actually put this new theme in down there they've painted them boxes up which is nice oh that's a big barrel <laughs> so here's a little listen to the new soundtrack so it's in theme of the hall of the mountain king as well what do you think about the new soundtrack nana it's a bit more piratey it's a bit more piratey I preferred the last one because it wasn't as cal ca calm, calm. It was a bit more rough, like it's supposed to be in Mutiny Bay. So you prefer the new one? I prefer the old one. It was more catchy as well. So uh, yeah, we've got Heepo over there. Marauders Mayhem. Every it looks like everything's going today. So uh, yeah. So now as we're just walking into Mutiny Bay, there's been a lot of changes around here. They've, they've painted up a lot of the facades, like the roofs, they've cleaned and stuff. And uh, a little update on uh, Heath Ho over here. Uh, so a little update on Heath Ho over here. I believe the fences, they look a bit different and they've added more rocks as like scenery. Also over here, they've uh, on Marauder's Mayhem, they've repainted these walls with the holes in. Uh, I'm not too keen on it because they, do, they looked a bit more realistic here. Yeah, like cannonballs have flown through them, look. So there's like new uh, repaint here. It's nice how they're doing the TLC, but I'm not too keen on that one, to be honest. It looks a bit more cartoony. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's nice to see the um, all the facades in Mutiny Bay have actually been cleaned and repainted, all freshened up over the winter break, which is really nice to see. So we've just come up to Wickerman right now, and I just want to say to Wickerman, happy birthday. Today is its birthday actually and Wickerman's on a 100 minute queue so happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday to Wickerman happy birthday to you and I believe they've actually added some more smoke machines coming out of this area here and I think the screens have been replaced as well in the actual Wickerman Big Bob structure so uh, yeah Nana I've got a challenge for you you've got to sing happy birthday to Wickerman no Okay, well, I've already done it anyway. I've paid my respects for Wicker Man. Happy birthday, Wicker Man. <laughs> Nana doesn't really like singing on, in front of camera, in, in the, on the camera, do you? Especially to a ride. Especially to a ride. Well, no, you've got to think, it's a really good wooden coaster. It's the UK's first wooden coaster in about 20 years, I think it is. Yeah. So, yeah, I appreciate Wicker Man. Happy birthday to it. It's, it's going through a rough patch, but it still is a great coaster, in my opinion. like the Congo River Rapids is back open today. Interesting to see that after the uh, maintenance it was going through at the end of last year. Yeah. Uh, let's hope the waterfalls are on. Hashtag pray for the waterfalls. So then we're down here at the waterfall location for the Congo River Rapids. And what's interesting to see is the, um, the waterfalls are not on. However, the uh, theme in there has been removed. So that's a sign that the waterfalls could be coming back. There you go. So 
we've got my chemistry teacher with us here. Yeah! Choo choo! <laughs> yeah, just outside Catania Canyon. <laughs> so then we're just queuing up for the Runaway Mine train, first ride of the day. Um, we're gonna wear, uh, it's only a 20 minute queue to be honest. We just met my chemistry teacher there. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, I think she was happy to see me because uh, she was talking about it in the actual chemistry lesson at school. But uh, yeah, so we're, we're gonna head on Runaway Mine train, see if it's any smoother, any rougher. Because any winter, winter maintenance could have gone onto this, so uh, yeah, we'll see you in the station maybe. So then we're just going on Jewel, the haunted house strikes back. Looking very nice this year. The vines are overtaking the facade again, by the looks of it. They need to get the hedge clippers out. <laughs> so uh, yeah, there's been some changes to Jewel now. It's nearly 30 years old this month, actually. So uh, yeah, we're going to take a look at some of the changes. Can we see anything? I know there's a new gravestone that says, happy birthday to Jewel. Oh, it's that one there. It's, oh, it's like behind the tree, that's a shame. <laughs> This is like the gravestone there. You can't see it now, but. So, uh, yeah, we're really excited to go and duel the haunted house strikes back. This is, you know what, guys, you guys now know how much this ride means to me. And, you know, I just love this ride so much. The soundtrack, the, the, you know, the layout, everything about it, the theme. Oh, look at this. They've got a skeleton out there now. Used to be a spider last year. So, uh, yeah, whoops, echoey in there. <laughs> And so I was like, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Any storage? New storage? Nope. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. It's not even at the door, which is good. <laughs> so then, if, hang on, let's wait in here. So there's a new book there. That's actually a real book about Jewel there and a new uh, little newspaper there. Oh, we've got some new lighting in here now. That's interesting. They've moved the dollhouse as well. Yeah, look, they've moved the dollhouse a bit more to like that, the, the front back, that side of the room. Interesting to see there's some more new light in there on Jewel. That soundtrack is just amazing. It says 30 down there for his 30th birthday. Can you see that, Nana? It says 30 down there for his 30th birthday. Here 
we go then we've just been on Jewel. <laughs> so then we've just been on Jewel, the haunted house strikes back. It's 30 this month, so happy birthday to Jewel. Well it's not his birthday today, but well, happy birthday anyway this month to Jewel. We had quite a good ride on there to be honest. We broke down one time as usual. We always break down on Jewel. I think they stop it to break the gap between the cars. Yeah, I think they do. But I, I noticed they switched more UV lighting back on this year, which is good. And they added more theming in the queue line for the 30th anniversary of Jewel as well this year. So what was your thoughts on Jewel then this today, Nana? Good. Yeah. Looks and scoring. Yeah, we've got one target between us. So I won, obviously. Five like hundred. <laughs> yeah, I got. I won just by one target, and uh, yeah, so we did have a good ride on Jewel, and it is my favourite. Well, not the favourite, but like, is a really good ride for me. You know, guys, you guys know how much Jewel means to me. I built it on Planet Coaster, so I know a lot about it, as you know. And uh, so, uh, yeah. So this is the new for 2022 map. The main thing that's changed, as people would see is the spin jam logo up there which would say mixtape which is now spin jam <laughs> we've just walked down to Bavillon valley and we've just noticed they've gotten rid of all the theming out there oh yeah nana's just giving me a good idea thanks nana look how small she is from here so uh, yeah if you look in there you can see there's no theming in there but there is a queue line layout there so that was nemesis subterra we don't know what's going on with there but there's been work there you just jumped down the rocks <laughs> There we go. Nemesis, sit back, it's fright time. We're just going on Nemesis. Be warned, this is the world's most intense ride experience. I mean, it was, but it's not anymore, but there you go. If you come into towers today, be warned. The extended queue line for Nemesis is open, so get ready for walking. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. No, we thought, though, Nemesis is only a 15-minute queue. It's very rare you get Nemesis on a 15-minute queue, so we thought, why not? Get our first coaster done of the day. We've done two nice, gentle rides time for the thrills to rise <laughs> oh i am exhausted already i've just walked up a tiny little hill there's a little look back at the uh, nemesis subterra um show building oh nemesis going up its lift hill yesterday was actually nemesis's birthday so happy birthday yesterday to nemesis i would say it's its final birthday because that's getting a re it's getting a retract so <laughs> yeah Here we go on Nemesis. Just coming at the top of the lift hill up there now. It's amazing how it goes up a hill on the lift hill. Uh, it's coming, don't worry. test dummies outside the maintenance shed they send them round on the actual trains filled with water when they're testing nemesis so uh, yeah it's interesting to see also there's been uh, some new steps added in down there as well 
Uh, just a little shout out for you. And there as well. A little new TLC update. They've done so much TLC over the winter break. Nemesis, I think it was very rough, but Nana thought it was very smooth. So then, this is the new Super Troop. Well, I would say new. It was here last year, but it was a different Super Trooper. This is a new Super Trooper, as you can tell by the colours on the actual seats. They changed it to purple. Last year it was like a ruby colour, and now they're purple. I don't know if this sizzler, um, sizzler. I don't know if this um, Super Trooper feels any different on Funk and Fly, but oh well. We're not going to go in it because the queue. The queue goes down there, um, but yeah, the, all the vinyl stickers are back on the operator's cabin and the fences for the retro squad. So uh, yeah, it sounds a lot smoother. <laughs> Go. You found it rough on Nemesis. I found it really good. I Quite don't know. If, I don't know if you heard that because of Nemesis roaring in the background, but yeah. She found it quite smooth. I found it quite rough. Yeah. It's a competition. So, um, oh, I think it's a bit of a bad back because that's went to worse, so it's quite smooth. True. Yeah. It still gave me a headache. It always gives me a headache, Nemesis. You know, you, you, you can't go on Nemesis and not get a headache. It's quite impossible. But, um, yeah. Some reason, uh, they've cut the path off heading towards Wicker Man coming out in the haunted hollow that's strange there must be a reason why so now like i said in the video i believe it was my last video actually um i said we was gonna build the entire haunted hollow on planet coaster as well as jewel so i'm gonna be building down here as well on planet coaster all of these statues There we go. Nana. Nana. What do I always say? <laughs> That's not me. It's not you. <laughs> it's always that one. I remember though. No, oh, no, I think. Yeah. I always used to see. I mean, hang on. Please be quiet. I remember seeing a, like, a, one of them What's It crisps in that mouth of that one over there. <laughs> it was a joke. But then? I don't know. So then, we're just heading on to the Sky Ride now. We're going to head to Dark Forest uh, and try uh, 13 Rita and Roller Disco. We're going to see if Roller Disco has improved. If it's not, then that was a waste of time. But if it has, then well, it's not a waste of time. So uh, yeah, I'll give you a little peek in there. Uh, so they've actually got some of the gondolas in there, if you can just see. I was working on some of the gondolas in there. Sky ride stopped. That's strange. But uh, yeah, we'll see you when we're on the sky ride. So we just thought we'd take a little walk in the gardens here. It is really quiet. Like Nana's over there taking some photos. There's a tiny bit of wind in the air, but it is quite warm. Just a little look at the ruins here. Really nice to see. <laughs> 
You get some really good photos though in the gardens. I can't see if the Fagoda Fountain's on yet. So we'll have to take a walk down there. But yeah, if you just look at that stunning view, it's amazing. So um, last year we decided to look down here and we found some of these big fish, which you can see there. And uh, then because they saw people feeding the fish all sorts of food, um, they had to put a fence here. Whereas now they've added this new little box where you can give them fish food for one pound. There you go. So uh, yeah, not they won't eat that though. <laughs> But yeah, they all come over here now to play. There's a little duck coming there. Hello. Hey. It's a little duck. You want to tell duck? Close. No. What's that, Nana? It likes me. Little duck there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the dark forest. So then we're now here in the dark forest. And Rita has had these vines on there, like repainted green and stuff. That looks really nice. Roller disco over there with no retro squad signage. That's strange. That's interesting. Oh no, it has got some, but on the rest of it, it's like the classic uh, waltzer. Like, you know, the, the classic roller coaster signage around it. That's strange to see, isn't it? I don't think we'd be seeing that on a retro squad ride. Obviously, yeah. Q for 13. 50 minutes. No, I'm not doing a 50 minute queue. I don't risk them. So, uh, yeah. So, we've just been on uh, the roller disco, the world's worst waltzer, in my opinion. But we, we spun really fast about one time, that was it. But, yeah, we've, um, we're now going to go on either Heathrow or Marauders Mayhem. And then we'll make our way to Sharp Bait Reef. So, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. 
wide it is.
see ya. themselves a bit of seaweed. Uh, that is £20. Uh, we've got a Wicker Man one there. £20 as well. And uh, yeah, that's the Wicker Man section. You've got your smaller jumpers and stuff over here as well. It says ha ha ha. And there you go. 
they're now selling these Galactica resins here where the track's actually going through the portal there. Well, I don't know where that is, to be honest, so I'll have a little look for that. Is that over here? Now they're going to save the day. These smaller water bottles, smaller lanyard and a ride poster. Sorry. Here's the Galactica resin, £9. All the resins are £9. I'll probably have to get one of them. I've got one of them. I've got, I've got that one, I've got that one, I've got that one, I've got that one, I've got that one. I just haven't got that one. And the Rita one. We've got the pin badges down here. The Thunder Looper, an old coaster here from Alton Towers. The Beast. Congo River Rapids. Uh, Merlin Entertainment. The Energizer, the Beast, the Alton Towers Hotel. The Alton Towers Fireworks, 2019. That's interesting. The Smiler one. And uh, yeah, so then that was our day here at the Alton Towers Resort, Alton Towers Resort, for the third, for the second day of opening for 2022. It's been a really good day. We've got quite a few rides and coasters. Uh, a lot of TLC work's been going on over the winter break as well. I've got a Galactica resin from Tower Trading. Uh, Nana's enjoyed it as well. We'll be back next month when it's warmer, of course. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Turn on the post notifications. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Ma'am.